video I am doing uh, just to let you know that I had a battery which was dead for around about seven years. This was uh, Excite battery of my bike, and I needed to replace my battery. Now it would have cost me around about thousand rupees, but I decided to uh, restore the battery. I purchased uh, H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid along with uh, distilled water I tried a number of times two times I tried to clean it up by uh, removing the old solution of sulfuric acid and thereafter I uh, added distilled water baking uh, powder and cleaned it up properly twice with hot water but yet um, it didn't it was not charging properly later on um, I added Epsom salt in warm water and uh, dissolved it I was boiling the water while I was dissolving it now in the morning I poured uh, Epsom salt solution inside this battery which has six cells and thereafter I tried to charge again but it was not charging sufficiently then I decided uh, to get the last try to uh, give the last try and what I did I opened these two caps the connector caps I removed it using a knife and thereafter I what I saw was it was not clean so I resoldered the points and also added external wires to it thereafter I tried to charge initially it was charging but it was not charging properly but after I resoldered it the wire after cutting it I resoldered it now it's charging properly now initial my voltage was round about 0 0.09 and now from there my voltage now is around 9 point something so it's charging before it was not charging so maybe it was a issue for the connectors these two connectors it was since it was not uh, clean I cleaned it up thereafter it is charging so maybe it's not because of only Epsom salt uh, it's because of this charging point or else it would have uh, been restored with acid and uh, sulfuric acid and distilled water but since now I have already used a solution of Epsom it's working so I may call it that uh, Epsom salt restored my battery uh, to workable uh, condition but I would have uh, liked to see uh, it work with uh, the uh, acid uh, solution as well but that time I didn't notice these two points were not clean and uh, properly soldered points I was getting voltage so I thought the connection is all right and since it's, it's seven years dry cell so it's not working but right now it's giving me voltage so I will say that Epsom salt and uh, soldering of this resoldering of these two points solved my problem maybe in some next uh, battery if I get a chance I will first try to resolder these two points uh, with the acid inside it before going for the Epsom salt because I have some um, positive as well as some negative uh, reviews about use of Epsom salt in batteries it's not dangerous but it says that uh, using Epsom salt reduces battery life but since it's my uh, ba since uh, this battery was around seven years or more old so I had nothing to lose 
so I directly cleaned up with baking soda and neutralizing the acids inside cleaned it up twice thoroughly finally I tried once with the acid but that time I didn't clean these two points so I am not sure that uh, it was due to uh, the sulfation which occurred on the plate that's what caused uh, not charging or um, these two sold unsoldered uh, or uh, soldered but dirty points rather which have some accumulation of the acids uh, now it's working so we can restore it we can restore it to conclude we can restore it but from uh, next time if you try to uh, repair a battery first check the soldered points because uh, like in my case I could have checked it once uh, before I tried the Ipsen salt solution now Ipsen salt solution is working so one positive is here that Ipsen salt solution will restore your battery for at least one year or so uh, it will be workable we got to add Ipsen salt solution continuously means uh, when the water dries up we have to add Ipsen salt solution to keep it going and it should not dry and another thing which I have learned that over here there is a maximum level that initially I was trying to fill it up and then try to charge but maybe uh, the maximum level is the height of the separation that's why it's written maximum so don't let your solution go over this maximum marking and rest negative positive terminals and one more thing this time I tried to charge my battery using my old SNPS SNPS computer SNPS which we have over here the power supply now what I did since my battery was completely discharged I had few options I had uh, connected the 5 volt uh, connection which pro provides me 38 amperes 1 plus 3.3 volts which provided me around about 25 amperes and uh, one negative 12 volt that will give me 0.8 amperes that will allow 0.8 amperes to pass through and uh, one another uh, thing I used is 12 positive 12 volt and negative 12 volt so now I am charging with positive 12 negative 12 a difference uh, of the terminals in between once I tried uh, plus 3.3 volts 